What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about curvilinear coordinates, specifically the spherical coordinate system. Now, in order to understand the spherical coordinate system, let's first talk about, uh, let's first set up our Cartesian coordinate system. So if this is your x-axis, this is your y, therefore, this is your z-axis. Now, let's consider a certain point P. Now, if we're going to define the position of this point with the position vector R okay, in the Cartesian coordinate system, the R vector is given by x x hat plus y y hat plus z z hat where x y and z are the components of the position vector given by this so this is x This is y, and this is z. Okay? Now, in spherical coordinate sphere system, okay, we define the position vector r using these components. The distance between the point from the origin is R. And then we have another component. We call that your polar angle. And that is the angle measured from the, po from the positive Z axis. So this is theta. And your azimuthal angle. And that is phi. And how do we define phi? Phi is defined as the angle between the x-axis and the line uh, pro, uh, the, 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 this distance projected to the x-y-axis. So if this is the projection of R in the x-y-axis, phi is defined to be this angle. Okay? So, uh, the distance x, y, and z are related to R theta phi by this set of equation where x is equal to R sine theta cosine phi and then y is equal to R sine theta sine phi and then lastly z is equal to what? Z is equal to R cosine theta. Now, aside from our uh, uh, distances or components, we also define the unit vectors. The unit vectors R hat, phi hat, and uh, theta hat and phi hat are defined as follows. So this direction, R, would give us our R hat. This vector is uh, directed outward from the origin. Okay. Theta hat is perpendicular to this R along the direction of this angle. So this is perpendicular to each other. And then lastly, P hat will be the, uh, if we're going to project P hat in the XY plane, it is, perpend it, is, uh, it is perpendicular to this line. So that means this would be in this direction. So this is P hat. Okay? So R hat and P hat and theta hat are mutually perpendicular to each other. 
okay now also the range of values of r theta and phi r r would be from 0 to infinity this is very important theta would be from 0 to pi okay and then phi is from 0 to to pi okay now in relation to the unit vectors in the cartesian coordinate system x y x hat y hat and z hat r hat is given by sine theta cosine phi x hat plus sine theta sine phi y hat plus cosine theta z hat theta hat is equal to cosine theta cosine phi x hat plus cosine theta sine phi y hat minus sine theta z hat and lastly P hat is given by negative sine phi x hat plus cosine cosine phi y hat. Okay, so if you want to convert the Cartesian uh, unit vectors to spherical unit vectors, we use this equation, which can be uh, which can be related to uh, which can be expressed in terms of a uh, transformation matrix but we're not going to deal with that okay now it's important to notice that the unit vectors are hat theta hat and phi hat okay always uh, change depending on the component theta and phi hat okay so in other words unlike the x hat y hat and z hat coordinate system uh, coordi uh, unit vectors which is fixed the r hat p hat and theta hat changes as you move your as the position changes okay okay now in the next video we're going to talk about how we express infinitesimal length dl volume element d tau and area element da in spherical coordinate system okay but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye